Welcome back, everybody. I've returned. And yep, I'm in my underwater base. And I've managed to fix the leaking problem, actually. If you look closely, you'll notice that the stone bricks are kind of extending past the glass a little bit. That's because I was using a saw from Red Power to cut brick blocks as small as I could. Then I stuck the panel, no, covers over the bottom. That way, it had more stuff between the water and open air, so it wouldn't drip anymore. I also put glass covers over the glowstone. It kinda gives it a more modern lighting look rather than just random rock saying they're glowing. Anyway, today we're gonna start out with upgrading my furnace. Now this iron furnace is pretty good on its own, but it can be even better. So in order to do that I'm gonna need to make another circuit again. So, you know, we're going to go through all the starting stuff. Two, three, four. There we go. Um, yeah, that was it. Alright, copper. Hey, don't move on me. Uh, right, it's in my inventory. Do, do, do. And rubber. Turn it into a circuit. Throw that on top. Put redstone on the sides. And furnace in the center and we get an electric furnace. And then I'll plop that right here. I have a glass fiber cable going behind the wall here. So it's powering all three and now four of my machines. And basically what this does is it uses electricity instead of coal or charcoal. Which I've got all my energy put back in here. It drained a little bit of it. Because, well, these have their own internal storage unit. Which is represented by this red arrow. So I haven't put down my condenser yet. I might as well put that right here. There we go. Now, we do have one small issue. I cannot get any solar energy under the ocean. Not without going up above the ocean and putting a solar panel up there. And I'm pretty sure the reason is because all the water is distorting the sunlight, so it's not really efficient anymore. But we have another option we can do. Uh, I'm going to need to make another. I still have enough refined iron. I don't need to smelt any more of that. I just need to get down to... Oh yeah, I need to get some of this clay out. Because I need to make another type of furnace as well. Speaking of furnace, there we go. And I'm gonna have a look at the recipe. Gen see. Ah, here we go. Just a generator, wood and sticks. Okay. It's not it's actually pretty easy. Um, iron. Two, three, four, five. Four planks and four sticks. And we're good. 
So quickly throw together a generator. There we go. And now for the wood. Now this particular kind of generator, well, it kind of is self-explanatory. It's a water mill. It's taking power from the water and that's ha what we're going to use to power my lab for now. It's not the most efficient power source, but considering we're in an entire ocean, I think it can work out pretty easily. The only problem I'm going to have is actually running wires. Because, hmm. like I had said, I plan on extending this hallway down that way so we have a mirror image of the lab from that side over here. I'm going to switch out. I don't want to change anything accidentally. Hello, Manta Ray. Oh, yeah. I also forgot to mention, I have updated this. Oh, hi, Manta Ray. I now have another secondary pod. Yeah, it's still leaky. And it's kind of underground as well. But I decided to make an aquarium in here. And where's Fishy? Fishy, where are you? Where are you, fish? I think it might have killed itself. I don't think I gave it... Oh no, there you are! Hi, fishy! What are you doing hiding in the wall? Get out of the wall. Get out of the wall. Anyway. I do have to finish paneling the other pods because they're still kind of leaky. But the main area is nice and dry, which is the most important part. After all, that's where I have books. You don't want books to get wet, they'll get ruined. You can never read them again. Also kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to keep this here. I, I think for now it'll work. It's subject to change in the future, though. And I need to get some more of these glass fiber cables. I need redstone and no silver and diamonds. using a lot of energy on this. Um. Right. Actually, I can just throw the clay in here and that'll get me down a lot faster. There we go, glass. Twenty four? Yeah, twenty four. Oh, and while I'm doing this, I might as well Why would I teach it all why would I smelt all the clay? I just need to smelt one. There. Have some clay. And a brick. Alright, before I get distracted with that, cables first. Alright, this is going to help, but I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still not going to be nearly enough ca cable for what we're doing. Uh, let's see. 
if I have it here actually this might be enough room right here it will in fact actually I can set up a small water mill farm right in the middle of these areas and that should generate a pretty decent amount of power of course getting out there is the issue that and not drowning which I've nearly done several times building this thing plus emptying it of all the water pain in the ass. Right, where's my bricks? Right, take the bricks, make some brick blocks. There we go, and Klein Star in there. I need six of them. Alright, an alloy furnace. Now this is one of the red power m machines. Although technically it's not a machine quite yet. And I'm, I'm gonna put it, I'm gonna put it right here. Now this uses coal as its resource of course. And what it can do I'm not sure if we can do it with RE batteries. But I have a bit of charcoal here, so let's see. Nope. I can take some items and melt them down to their base component. But that's not the important part. The important part is if we take... Um, I think tin. I think I'll only use one, but I'll get a few more just to be sure. And copper. Yeah, I'll take four copper too. And I'm probably wasting this charcoal by doing only this one. But if we take that we can get a new type of metal. Brass. Okay, it's one tin, three copper. And you get as much ingots of brass as you put in for the other two. And it does not have an EMC value, so I cannot just duplicate the hell out of this. Irritating, but... Whatever. Wait, how do I... Now, oh, copper is worth a lot less than tin. I actually never paid attention to that. Alright, give me some more copper. Thank you. I'll take this apple too, because I'm probably going to get hungry soon. Alright. Throw that in there and hopefully get just enough energy out of it. In the meantime... Now oh, look at that night sky. It looks beautiful through the water. I saw a fish. In the meantime, stop getting distracted at Exo. You're... being ridiculous. I actually don't know what I'm going to do in the meantime. I'm kind of absent-minded at the moment. You know what? I think I need a drill. And in order to get a drill... I'm going to need a more rubber. Okay, where's that sticky resin at? There we go. Just need one for now. Oh, and I need copper. 
Uh, I also need to refine some more iron, I guess. Nope. We'll do ten. Alright, so you refine your compressor. You extract. You ran out of energy. Alright, I'll take that for now. I need some more redstone. Uh, how much redstone do I... I just need two. Alright, are you extracted? Yes, you are. Are you refined? Now you are. And take this one too. Oh, and the rubber. Can't forget the rubber. Alright, craft it quick. I'm getting pretty fast at crafting that recipe. And that's backwards. There we go, mining drill. Now this is going to use up a lot of my power, <laughs> sadly, but it happens. Oops, come back here. Now mining drill works just like a pickaxe does. However, it's not the most powerful version. If I add three diamonds, which I can actually get rid of this pick now, because why would I need a diamond pick now that I have a, a drill? Or to be more specific, no, I don't want to set a waypoint. Cancel. To be more specific, a drill coated with diamonds. Now this mines, I think, faster than a diamond pick does. Don't quote me on that, I'm probably wrong, but... I'm usually wrong. Alright. Let's see, I need to go... Where do I need to go? Eh, I'll figure it out once I get out underwater. Oh, hi crystals. You're mine now. I've got a lot of water qu crystals. A lot of crystals. Okay, I need to get a ladder so I don't drown. I think I have one in here. Yes, good. And for those of you who don't know, ladders are great for if you're working underwater because you can do this. And drill. And the ladder will keep you from drowning. I I'm actually pretty close to where I need to come up. I actually need to be right here. Up, down I go. So if I run the cable, I'll put it right there. That'll keep any water from coming down to iron. Doesn't matter if this is ugly. Alright, so now the wire needs to come up like this. in the wire. Yeah, the wires are also very useful to prevent you from drowning. Uh, I'm on track. Now, water mills will generate power based on the area surrounding them. I cannot remember how big that area is though. I think it's 3 by 3 by 3. Which means that if you want an efficient one, if I put it here, there's a 3 by 3 by 3 area around it where there is absolutely no 
obstacles, except for what I am going to clear out right now. There. And the wire. Because, well, what good is the generator if you don't have a wire connected to it? And the other one can go right here, and it should have the same area. I'm, I'm really hoping I am right about the wire area of effect. Not the wire area, the generator's area of effect. Because if not, then I really need to figure out what it is. Either I'm running this completely optimally right now, or I'm not. And if I'm not, then there's not really any point of having it set up like this. Alright. Bring you in. And close that. Alright, so we have a slow amount of energy coming in every tick. Now, this is not nowhere near as efficient as the solar panel was, but it runs non-stop, day and night. So, in a way, it's slightly more efficient, but mostly it's not. What I really want to get is that lava. That will give us a lot of power. Hello, book. Now my issue with that is I don't have a storage area planned for it. But I've kind of got eh, some idea going. Remember how I said I was planning on going down a couple levels and making an underground portion of this lab? Well, this is what this door is for. I'm going to start making a pod under here. But I don't know how far down I've gone yet. Actually, I can check that right now. I'm at 41. And the floor up here is 49. So I'm down about eight blocks from this floor, which means I can have a six block high room, and seven if you include the roof, and it shouldn't be visible at all, which is wonderful. Because normally I like my rooms to be four blocks high. So my first pot over there is going to be for lava storage. And basically is going to be my primary generator room. Did a snake manage to get its A snake is in here. Snake, what are you doing? Why are you in my lab? What kind... Oh, you are cobra. Don't bite me. Don't make me hurt you. I just don't want you in my lab. There's the door. W will you leave if I open... Snake? I'm warning you, Snake. Tell you what, I'll open the door for you. And you swim out. <laughs> Why am I doing this? That the door's open. You're free to leave. Just go on. No. Bad snake. Go on. You can leave. Snake. If you bite me, I'm going to have to hurt you. Oh, 
Hey, hey, hey. That's it, you're dead. Okay, enough screwing around for now. I'll I'll go back to screwing around later, most likely. It's almost guaranteed. Look at that power flow in. It is not flowing in nearly as much fast as I would like. But it's free power, and while I'm not using power, it works. But when I am, that's not going to be nearly enough. So let's see, what can we find out for... That's actually right here. Oh, geo geothermal generators are actually very easy to make. I should have made that one right away. Uh, let me check how long this has been going on so far. Alright, this has been going on for 26 minutes so far. Sorry, I really had to yawn there for some reason. I don't know why. But this has been 26 minutes, mostly of me fooling around. I've done a couple smart things. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the pod down here. And once that's done, I'm going to make some piping to bring the energy from the volcano to us. So I will see you in a moment. Alright, so progress was made. I've gone through almost all my energy. Let's bump this up just... There we go. That's good enough for me. Although I didn't really need to do that, but either way, let's see, since we're almost at energy, I'm going to go ahead and make a bit of charcoal. Yes, yeah, so I forgot I had a spare battery in there. Well, I'll actually leave that in there. It can power up. Um, t -t -t I need to get some iron again. Let's see, that's just enough to make a generator, but I need an actual... Let's see, geothermal requires two refined iron. I have two refined iron, that's good. No circuits are needed in this one actually, so... That's a lot better than usual. Yeah, let's charge up the star a little bit. I need... Five. There we go. Oh, and furnace. I always forget that a furnace is part of making this stuff. I don't use it for much else. Mm -hmm. Oh, and yeah, regular glass blocks. Need that too. Uh, torch, you're in the general area. Alright, so generator, refined iron, empty cells, and glass. There. Lovely. And here's the room's progress thus far. Roof isn't done yet. Uh, I'm thinking of putting a design on the floor like I have the other rooms. I'm really liking the basalt lining at the ceiling. I th I'm actually thinking of making it half slab basalt. Now, get a little bit of variation in here somewhere. Anyway, I'm thinking I'm going to put the geothermal generator right here. And along the sides here are going to be 
the tanks. There's going to be four of them. And those will hold all the lava. In the floor, there will be pipes pumping the lava into the geothermal generator through a pipe at the top right here. And underneath the geothermal generator is going to be the glass fiber cable. So like that. The geothermal generator right there. And now that's not going to move ever. Because I don't want to break it. <laughs> Uh, oh no, I don't know which spot it takes it in. Um, well, I'll figure that out in a moment. I'll hop onto a creative world and actually test it out, because I don't want to end up screwing this all up. Uh, these areas right here are going to be hallways going off, maybe curving instead of being a straight hall. I don't really know. I'll figure it out in another episode. But let's see, I need some tanks, which are eight glass blocks. All right. Good. We got a healthy amount of power stored up again. I love it. I love the power. Anyway, torches, I need you again. I'm going to make four different tanks, three high. Let's see, four times three, it's twelve times eight. That is beyond what I can think of off the top of my head. Ninety-six. That's a lot of glass. All right, that is ninety-six. There we go. All right, do 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 do. do. Oh, and I'm actually going to need one more tank. So, back in you go, back in you go. Because we need one tank to make a pump. Pump is a mining well plus a tank. Mining well is sort of expensive, but it's doable. So I got the cobbles. I need sticks, though. Sticks have more EMC than cobble, of course. Now in that case, click, 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 click. Stick. I just need the one. And some iron. And that's for the sides, for the gear, and an iron pick. So let's start with the gear. Surround that with cobble. Surround that with iron. Save the world quick. I'm paranoid about this game crashing all the time now. It it kind of sucks. Oh, and I need redstone. Why do I never remember the redstone? It's funny, because I'm basically the guy that the other admins turn to when they need things done with redstone on the server. Anyway, oh yeah, I forgot. Need the other tank. It's not that I am amazing with redstone, it's just I know more about redstone than they do. I do actually need a lot more glass now that I think about it, because 
pipes are made of glass. And we'll get a stack there and going to turn all this marble into cobble, basalt too. I actually need some wood as well. Oh, and cactus! I need to find a cactus! I can't do any of this without a cactus. I'll be back. I'm going to go find a cactus. Uh, stairs. Well, that's not a cactus, but that's not a good sign. Taint. Well, I guess if I need to find some tainted stuff, I know where to go now. I have to mark it, though. Anyway, search continues. Cactus, you will not elude me. <laughs> I finally found it. I've been searching for days. Look how far out I am. I found two different tainted lands. One, that one over there actually is right near the shore. Just a few blocks from where I lived. Where I, le where I used to live. Anyway, now that we got cactus, I better get home. I don't want to be out here. There's werewolves out here. Oh, I do have a slight advantage. Though. I have a sharp sword. Watch for the holes. It's kind of funny. I actually used the tainted landmarks. Ah! Not one of those! It's a bone horse! Run! Is that another one? Why do you exist? Oh, you're not actually that... You're not that tough, actually. I can kill you easily. You, go down the hole. Ow! Uh, wolf. Okay, I got something from it. I don't know what it is. I'm getting out of here. I should actually have a bed with me for sleeping, but I don't care. Hi, Peggy. Okay, let's take a moment. Fur. Oh, dang it. I'll figure out what fur can be used for later. Probably some sort of armor. If there's any use, for what was that? Ah! Oh, don't look! Don't look! I'm not here. I don't want to be here. Leave me alone. <laughs> Creepers everywhere. <laughs> Don't care about my sword. My life's more important. Oh, great, here's the taint. Alright, let's hope there's no sheep wandering around on these. Alright, I'm pretty much home free. Okay. Let's get out of here. <sighs> Made it back. There are so many evil things on land at night. I'm glad I live in the ocean. 
I love the way this place looks too. It's kind of cool just looking down at something underwater like this. Enough chat. It's time to make a cactus. Or teach my transmutation talent how to make a cactus anyway. I'm also hungry. I don't have any food. I'm starving myself. Any snakes in here? Snakes? Okay, no snakes. Nothing's going to bite me while I'm sitting here transmuting things. <sighs> Transmuted. It's now learned. But... Eh. What the hell was that? I thought I heard something, um... Anyway, cactus green. Learned. And... Now we have waterproofing. Unfortunately, this does not have any way of being transmutable, so... In order to make more cactus green, I'm going to have to. Here, I think... I think that amount is good enough. Can I get a cactus from this dirt? Yes. I can get a cactus green from dirt. Awesome. Alright, just make a few more of those. I actually need one for every single pipe I'm going to make, so... This is going to take a while. Alright, got plenty of cactus green. Plenty indeed. Oh, that is way more pipe than I need. For <laughs> I made way too much pipe. Oh, well, it can be used for other things, at least. And I can't transmute it, unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but there's not really much choice they have, because you get eight for a total of three EMC. There's no way you can transmute them anymore after that. All right, get rid of that. Get rid of these. Get rid of that. Okay, I need some wood as well, so... Wood. There we go. Wood. I like wood. Shut up. I don't need any more stone, so... Get a few wood out of that. And out of this. Alright. I need one for each tank. So I only needed four wood, actually. So I didn't even need four wood. I, I needed two. Just leave me alone. I'm screwing things up. <laughs> oh, I need that wood back! Because I, I just remembered I need to make engines as well. And engines are made of wood and cobblestone. Um, and redstone, of course. So I need... Da, 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 da. Two for the pump and one for each thing, so... Six redstone ought to be good enough. Actually, I don't even need all six redstone. Scatterbrain. I need iron. Just one 
is good enough for now. I can't. Can't do anything with this. Get out of here. Oh, and before we do anything else, quickly waterproof this batch of pipes. And we'll hold on to the rest for now. Oh, wait, I need... I only need four. Why did I make six? I'm stupid. No, no coordinate. One iron, three wood, four cobble, cobble, and a redstone. There we go. That makes a piston, which we need to learn quick. And I'll just dump the ingredients in here. That wasn't even enough to make... <sighs> Glowstone. There. That's exactly what I needed. And then I need some more sticks again. Because I need to make six engines, so I need two gears per engine. That's two, three, four, I lost count, damn it. I think that's, yeah, that's five, six, there we go, six engines worth of sticks. And glass. Um, more wood. Three each. It's eighteen wood, and I think I'm good. All right. Oh, need to make the gears first. All right, gears go there. Pistons there. Glass there. There. Six redstone engines. Now, if I'm going to do this properly, I'm going to need to make some levers as well. Stick and cobble. And I know you don't know that yet, so learn it. Um, I think I only need three, actually, so get rid of that one. Ah! Help! I've fallen and I can't get out! Yeah, I can. I can just jump. Oh, by the way, I don't think I actually mentioned this yet. Do you like the design I did with the stairs here? I used the saw to cut down some basalt and kind of made a border out of it. Oh, I forgot one right here. I'll fix that later. Don't worry. I'm kind of thinking of doing the same thing around most of where my basalt meets up. So, like, there will be an upside-down basalt stair here with a bit of marble and one basalt right here. Kind of tie it together. And up here, I am thinking of doing the same in the floor. Kind of give it a more connected look than just random blocks. You should see a change by the next time I put out the next video, and hopefully it looks great. Anyway, set up tanks. What am I... I'm I'm losing track of what I'm doing now. All right, I need to hop on creative for a moment. Be right back. Alright, I am back. 
And yes, piping into the top of the geothermal generator is exactly what we want to do. Now there is one issue I have though. A geothermal generator is going to produce so much energy that this little battery box here isn't going to cut it at all. So what we need to do, well, we're going to need four diamonds and some gold and that's pretty much depleted of this client server, which is pretty amazing actually. I have not burned through that much energy at one shot so far. But what we're doing is going to be worth it. Um, I need some rubber too. Nope, you're below rubber. Um, I don't have anything on the same level as rubber, I think, so... Oh, dang it! Here, glowstone. Boat, there we go. I'm gonna need... six rubber total. No, wait. Um, I might as well just show you. MF. We're making an MFE. Now this requires a machine block and energy crystals, which is diamond loaded with redstone, and these gold cables, double insulated, of course. We're going to need four of them, so that's two rubber each, eight rubber total. I am just shy with what I have here. Alright, give me this sticky resin. You can go back in here. There we go. Alright, start extracting that. No, no, cancel! Uh, refined iron? I don't have any, so we're going to have to get some more of that, of course. Wow, we are almost completely out of EMC in this client star. It's a good thing I have a full backup one. Uh, start refining this iron. In the meantime, this is how you get gold cables. Very simple recipe. And insulated. Alright, I might as well get the redstone I need as well. Um, t -t 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 shaped crafting, yeah, it's... You, diamonds are used in a lot of stuff. Wait, what was that? How do I... Fire? Well, I guess I can get it from the rats, but how else would you normally get fire? Wait, what's that? A saw head. That's a different kind of saw. Uh, a bunch of other magical items. Diamonds are very useful in magic. I think I passed it at one point. I, I don't care anymore. MFE, energy crystal, there we go. Eight redstone each. Give me my rubber. No. Nope. <sighs> Drill, where are you? Thank you. Anyway. We need 32. There, that's plenty. Diamond. Energy crystals. Energy crystals are basically a much more advanced battery. They can store way more energy than a regular battery can. 
which is why they're used in this recipe. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can combine damaged energy crystals to repair them. I don't I don't think you're supposed to be able to do that, really. All right. So, two, three, four, and the can Nope. Machine block first. Okay, crystals, machine block, and wires. There, MFE. Now, I'm going to want to temporarily cut the power. Oops, that was one block too many. Alright, got it back. Actually, I don't think that block mattered. I think it was a... Yeah, it's covered anyway. Um, okay. I actually don't have anything to put the energy into efficiently. Irritating. That means I'm going to make another diamond. Do I have enough to make another diamond? I don't! Tarn! Well... I guess that means I'm just gonna have to use this client star. I've been saving you. This one, however, can be used to make the energy. The... Redstone, I mean, not energy. Blah, blah, blah. Alright. Energy crystal. Ah, suck up this. Suck, suck up the... No, I can't get the power out! Aw, oh, man! What's this thing for, anyway? Emit a full... Oh, I didn't know that you could... That's kind of cool. You can toggle those behaviors. Well, I might not be able to get all the energy, but... I can get a portion of it. And take my electric wrench. Now, here's the trickier part actually placing this thing right. Which is actually kind of easier to do since I'm not completely covered in machines here. There. And you know what? I'm actually going to be able to use this battery box. If you're wondering how... Okay, this is tricky, but... There. Now this thing is going to be filling up with energy from the water and outputting it into the MFE directly. No fancy cables or anything else required. Now... I'm pretty sure the MFE only... No, it does kind of output a high amount. I think this is a higher amount than these machines are supposed to be able to take. I'm kind of worried. Up. Oh, wow. That's an expensive recipe. Um... Okay, got you back. I don't remember if 128 is a uh, medium voltage or not, because if it is, these machines are probably going to explode if I try to use them. 
So I'm going to actually cut the episode here. I'm starting to go longer than I want to. Um, next episode will be getting back to all these machines and stuff. Uh, like, subscribe, and fave if you've enjoyed this episode and if you're enjoying the series in particular. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.